Jane, you were um, discussing previously a, a project that you had completed that transformed a traditional model into a more decentralized model. Could you uh, share some of the strategies that you used in working through that process? Yeah, it was a very interesting project because it was really the traditional, all the items in the corridor that were stored, very centric to the staff. And as a result of it, what we found is there was actually a deck space that was more like a concrete pad that existed outside of the double doors of their day room dining space. And it was completely unused, as, you, as the cobwebs indicated in the doorway, that it had not been open. And, but it, looking at that, it was a whole other opportunity to recreate a household in the center of a very institutional model. So it was still going to be a double-loaded corridor, but it was going to have a, a convergence of space. So instead of having the folks at the large centralized uh, staff space and the nurses station, it was taking this large area and actually repurposing it to be more resident centered. Um, and so in, in doing that, you know, the, the staff would say, well, they're all lined up next to the nurses station. And I'm like, that's because that's the only place that really has activity. The other thing we realized is that when we started looking at the plans, there was actually a lot of daylight that was available, windows that were available in spaces like soiled utility or an old workroom that wasn't really being used and it was had you know stuff stacked up in it. And so as a result, the looking at the overall program of the space, it allowed us to be able to think household. So we ended up with going from one all side of the double-loaded corridor being all staff space to actually creating a whole new den space. So the den space with a, with a bathroom that could be used by residents and then a small work area for the, for the staff um, and then a servery. So it became more of the dining but also activities that they could share, a household space and actually even a little visitor's area that was like a porch. It felt like a porch. Um, the other thing was the visibility out of it because no one could really see out of it. When you looked across the concrete deck before, you saw like another wall. And so now when you look out those windows, you actually see the whole garden below as well. So it was taking a very, very tight space and trying to implement how you could actually change it. And then the finding of the windows was just like a bonus um, to actually get daylight and views into a central core. So I think that many people are challenged with this right now uh, in terms of both room design as well as, as the household component. Um, so I think that if you really look at the program of it, talk with the staff, figure out from the residents and the family what's needed.